This is what it looked like. Conditions out there before 6 o'clock tonight as the snow first started coming down. This is in Pollock Pines. The snow turned into slush as it hit the camera lens at this point. And this is what it looked like around 8 o'clock tonight. The snow starting to come down a little bit harder and then piling up a little more on the lens. And here's a look at conditions just a short time ago. You could see barely you can barely see out of the camera lens here, but it was still coming down pretty heavy at this point. And we have live team coverage of the Sierra snow tonight. We begin with KCR Ray 3's Orko Mana. He's been driving in the snow all night and joins us live from Kingville just off Interstate 80. So Orko, we can see it coming down. How are things looking out there right now? Yeah, Andrea, it's coming down pretty hard here in Kingvale. The snow has been consistently falling throughout the night as we drove up into the Sierra in Live Tracker 3. And you can just see here on the ground how much snow has accumulated. We were out here at 6 o'clock for a live shot, and it was definitely not this deep. If I pick it up, you can see just how deep the snow is here because of all the snow that's on the ground that has led to some chain controls on this portion of Interstate 80 that's over my shoulder. But the snow is also really good news and really exciting for ski resorts in the area. Falling snow, a welcome sight at Boreal Mountain, California. Visitors at the ski resort shredding down the hill out of sheer excitement. It's just working out perfectly up here. It's what this guy and all these people have been hoping for after a not so stellar start of the ski season due to little snow. Not seeing that happen was uh, you know, a little disheartening for, for us diehard skiers, but seeing it finally dump on New Year's looks like a great start to 2024. Resort officials say all this fresh powder is exactly what they wanted to see too. When Mother Nature shows up, so do the customers as well. While crews have relied on snowmaking machines to get by so far, it's the natural snow that's expected to make a bigger impact. We're really shooting for that 100% open and with the snow that's coming in today and then throughout the rest of the weekend we're really hoping to expand terrain and continue to drop ropes and open more chairlifts. The flurry is also impacting travel on Interstate 80 from Kingvale to Soda Springs to Truckee. Flakes from the sky are sticking to the ground. Live Tracker 3 showing the snow whipping around and then accumulating on the roadway. Even with snow plows out on the roads and precautions like chain controls, some say it feels good. It feels like a dream come true, honestly. For these two locals, snow in the Sierra is like a belated Christmas gift. We've just been really anticipating some more snow. You know, we haven't got much, so it'd be nice if we got a couple feet even. OK, so asking for feet plural of snow, probably a lot to ask for for this most recent snow that's falling right now. I mean, it is pretty deep, but again, we're not talking about feet of snow here. But again, with all of the snow that is on the roadway, including Interstate 80, chain controls are in effect. We have them still in effect right now between Baxter and Truckee. So if you are out on the roadways, you're asked to take it slow and make sure there's enough room between you and the vehicle in front of you. Reporting live in Kingville tonight in the snow or command a KCRA 3 News. Yeah, especially with all that snow coming down, makes it really hard to see the lanes, especially if you're on the interstate. So some great advice, Orco. All right, we'll see you soon, Orco. And with more on where the snow is falling right now, let's turn it over to Mark. Yeah, I'm going to show you both the rain and the snow. This is the last three hours, and one thing you should be noticing here is how the snow level drops. It's up here around 5,500 feet, then it got colder, sending the snow level down to about 3,800 to 4,000 feet. All right, let me give you some closer looks at where we're getting some of the best rain right now. Stockton, Modesto, Escalon, Oakdale, and east to Sonora. That's where we're getting the best rain, breaking up in the delta, but for Stockton and Modesto, we still have a couple of hours of good rain to go. And same thing throughout the mother load along Highway 49 from Angels Camp through Murphy's and San Andreas, McCollumy Hill. You have another couple of hours of a really good soaking rain. A little bit farther to the west, the rain just about over in Sacramento. It is over in Davis. There'll be a couple more showers during the night, but for places like Sacramento, the rain is just about done. Roseville will hang on to some really good rain. Then heading up Highway 49 from Auburn through Lake of the Pines, Grass Valley, Nevada City, and down Highway 20 toward Penn Valley, a really good rain. All right, what about the snow? As I mentioned, the snow level was around 5,400 feet. It dropped down to about 4,000 feet, 3,800 feet tonight. And this is Kingvale. This road was just wet earlier. These are all the cars and trucks on the side of the road putting on chains. 
actually, I'm sorry, this is Crystal Springs. This is down at 5,000 feet. So Kingvale 6200, this is down at 5,000 feet. You can just see that snow coming down and the cars backed up. Let's go a little farther to the south along Highway 50. We also have snow here, snow down into Pollock Pines, not into Camino. That's the way it looks at Twin Bridges. That's 6,000 feet, plenty of snow on that road. And a little bit farther to the south on Highway 108, we are getting some snow down into Twain Hart for the first time this year. Back to you. All right, it's nice to see that, Mark. And now is a good time to make sure you have the KCRA 3 app. You can track the rain and the snow wherever you are using our interactive radar.